Okay, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel today. I'm Kevin, and today we're back to our philosophy topic. So, today our topic is a new topic that we are gonna go into talk about the different way of reasoning. So, in the name of the topic, you guys can see today we will go to talk about the reasoning action. So, for you guys who don't know what is reasoning is, that means going to make a reason and then cut an argument from that reason. Yeah, it's really simple. So, I just talk for someone who didn't know it. So, today is just a open, or you guys can say it's an intro video for us to come to talk more into logical and also into philosophy of logic after this video. So today, our video will be a little bit short, or at least I think it will be short, okay? So, let's come straight into our topic. The first one, when you guys going to tell someone is have a lot of reason to say it whenever they do something bad, that means maybe they are a liar or they are someone who really have a lot of reason, right? But today, we are not focused on the reason itself. But we are going to focus on the result of the reason. Or you guys can say that the argument or the concluding of the reason that the reason is made by itself. Let's take an example for the better explanation for my bad language. So today, let's take an example here. There is two people talk with each other, but then the door has the knocking sound. And one says, uh, one people say with the other, "Hey, do you hear the knocking sound? Maybe there's people. Uh, yeah, maybe there's someone out of your house. You should go to check if there any delivery or some things that you need to know." So, the, that person says, "No, don't worry, my friends. I have a dog. She's pussy, and she's always park when there is someone knock on the door." But now she didn't park, so that means there is no one in front of the door. So you guys can see, by logical, we could see that yeah, this argument is a little bit sense. It's making a little sense, but still, it's not the best thing that we can make for an argument from a reason. So you guys can see the nonsense point of this argument like this. There is some philosopher have found out the way to just is a very simple way to break down the argument of that guy. For example, maybe Fuji is often park when people knock on the door, but that not means he will always park when there is people in front of the doors and knocking. So if there is just one thing going miss or be fail in an argument, include premise one, premise two, and the conclusion. If one of those things going to be failed, or you guys can say not true, so the whole argument or the conclusion itself will going to be fails either. So as I say in the examples, if Fuji did not always park when there is people in front of the house, so that means maybe there's people in front of the house, and maybe there is no one in front of the house, but that still mean. Even though Fuji didn't park, you should go to check the house or you check the door to see if there any delivery for you or there's someone needs you. So that's how we go in to talk of a point that going against an argument made by a reason. So like, simply the reason is like the start point of an argument for philosophy. For example, like we're going to make the reason, or we're going to find the reason, then we just go to use that reason, and then we develop it into the answer or the question, and then going to make the conclusion. Yeah, that's just simply like that, and that's how the argument made from a reason in real life. And the advantage of deductive reasoning is certainly if the premise are true. So maybe, as I said, the premise is the things that make. For, uh, is making the argument and the conclusion. So the good thing or the advantage of the reason, or you guys can say the argument made by reason, is that 
just need the reason to be good to be 100% true. So that means the whole argument will be true with no doubt. And as I said before, just one of three parts, premise one, premise two, and the conclusion of the argument fails. So the whole argument will be in a fake or a false argument either. Yeah, so that's just simply how the argument from reason works. And that's also the end of my video today. And as I said, today's video is a little bit short, so I hope you guys will understand that this is just an open topic for us to come into logical philosophy. And now, it's time for us to say goodbye then. See you in my next video, my video.